everyone, hello and welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. We're back today with even more Too Hot to Handle. Jada and Justin got back from their date last night and if you haven't seen that episode, make sure you click up in the i button. I'll leave the playlist up there so you can have a look. Let's get into it. Before we begin, make sure if you enjoy this video, you give it a like, subscribe to see more and turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. This is episode two, chapter seven. Jada might have hated her date, but you're bound to have a great time with yours. Let's see. That was the worst day ever. I hate Justin. You look at Jada with an open jaw. I'm going to, I'm going to ask what happened. Jada, what happened? She grabs your hand and pulls you off to the side. I don't want anyone to hear me. I'm so embarrassed. You pat her compassionately on the back. I can't believe I ever thought there could be something between me and Justin. Let me guess. You told him how you felt and it didn't go well? Jada sniffles. He flat out told me he's just trying to get laid and that he's sorry if I got the wrong impression, but he's here to have have fun. Wow, that's harsh. How should I respond? I'm gonna say I'm sorry. Jada, I'm so sorry. That must have been so hard to hear. You have no idea. It's like he forgot why we're here. Yeah, it seems like he's completely ignoring the rules of the show. He's not even trying. I know. And to think I put myself out there like that. I should have known better. I feel like such a mug. I hate to say it, but I told you so. Then don't say it. Oh, it annoys me so much when people go, I hate to say it, but... I told you so. If you hate to say it, you didn't have to say it. Just saying. I could tell immediately Justin wasn't boyfriend material. I wish I listened to you. And get this, he apologized afterward and said he still wants to work things out. You're kidding me. He said I took him off guard with my confession and that I should cut him a little slack. Wow. So what are you gonna do? I don't know yet. I'm just so gutted. I know you're bummed. I understand. We're getting major Jada points at the moment. You have every right to be. That was hurtful. Anyone would be upset. She gives you a small smile. Thanks, Amber. I appreciate you having my back. Anytime. Now, let's get some sleep. Tomorrow is another day. Jada wipes away an errant tear and forces a smile. A big day for you. Let's hope your date goes better than mine. Let's hope so. After Jada excuses herself and goes to shower, you walk into the bedroom and look around. Unfortunately, your private conversation seems to have lasted much longer than you anticipated. All the beds are already taken and some people are already coupled up. You notice that Liam, Alex and Dakota seem to be sleeping alone. I want to sleep with- let's sleep in Alex's bed. After a moment you start walking towards Alex's bed. I can't help but be drawn to Alex. I just hope they feel the same way and won't mind me in their bed. But you needn't have worried. When you pull back the covers and slip in next to them, they turn to you with a big smile. I was wondering where you were. I thought maybe you were snuggled up with someone else. Nope. <laughs> I'm exactly where I want to be. Alex smiles. I have to admit, I missed you after that dance we had. I was hoping for some more time together. We have time now, luckily. Yes, we do. So how do you want to spend it? How do I want to spend my time with Alex? Let's just talk. We can talk, maybe? Of course. So I'm curious. Are you a person who likes sharing a bed with someone? Or do you like your space? They think for a moment. It depends. If I'm really tired, I like my space. But on a lazy Sunday morning, I like cuddling. You shake your head and laugh. What is it? You just described me exactly. That's what I like. Alex smiles. Then I think you and I would be perfect cuddle partners. They pull you into their embrace and you let out a happy sigh. I think we would be perfect at a lot of things together. Me too. The air between you starts to grow thick. So you ask Alex another question before you give in to temptation. The two of you talk well into the night and don't fall asleep until the early hours of the morning. The next morning. You were all hanging out after a great breakfast when Theo suddenly gets everyone's attention. Okay, we all need to come to a consensus. Are we going to take these rules seriously or not? He takes all of you by surprise, but others quickly join in the discussion. I say yes. Sarah laughs. Of course you do. And you don't? No, I think the rules aren't going to do us any good. How are we supposed to form deeper connections if we don't even know if a person is good in bed? Well, the point is to form these connections in different ways, you know. Non-sexual ones. Feels like a waste of time. Sex is a big part of romantic relationships and you all know it. Not for everyone. Face it, Sarah. You just don't want to follow the rules. And you do. No offence, Sarah. But this isn't just about you. Yeah, we should all decide what we want to do as a team. What team? Wow, cats! Get your head in the game. This is a beach, not a basketball court. Everyone starts talking at once. All right, everyone, calm down. The only way to solve this is to put it to a vote. I think that's fair. 
Our outfit is so cute. Theo gives you a grateful smile. We'll do it anonymously. Grab a piece of paper and a pen, write down your vote, and then... And then put it in, um... He looks around, instantly cheering up when he spots a suitable prop. This hat. All the heads nod in agreement. You grab a pen and paper before returning to your seat. How do I want to vote? In favour of the rules. We want the rules. We want to win the money. Despite all the temptation, I could really use that money. I'm voting for the rules. You put your paper in the hat. Everyone anxiously waits as Theo tallies up the votes. Great. Someone put both options on the paper and another person turned in a blank. What does that leave us with? Five votes for following the rules and five for disregarding them completely. It's a tie. He sighs and laughs. This is a bit rubbish. Lana chooses that moment to light up. Hello. Hi Lana. Hey girl. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful day. A perfect day for fun. Sun and no sex. Everyone laughs. Amber, yes. It is time for your date. Oh, I know, Lana. Who am I going on a date with? I want pins and needles here. There's a few beats of silence before Lana responds. You are going on a date with... Lana makes a long pause, successfully raising the anticipation. Marissa. Ooh! Now, we selected Marissa as the person we wanted to go on a date with, so... Did everyone else who's playing this game get the person they selected to go on a date with? Did you get to pick your date preference? That's really interesting. Your mouth pulls up into a huge grin. Wow, thanks, Lana! Marissa jumps up and embraces you in celebration, laughing. You see a few disappointed faces, but you're too happy to focus on them. You will have your date by the water in 15 minutes. Only 15 minutes? We should hurry then. Oh yes, we get to go on a date. Okay, we get to do some hair and makeup. I feel like, I feel like the braid could be a look. And as for the outfits, okay, so there's this one, which is a bit more casual, but you know what? I'm kind of digging it. With this one, I feel like a date by the water during the day. This might be too much. And we have this one. So I think this is probably definitely the one we're gonna go for. In terms of everything else, I've thrown on some gold earrings and we have a watch on our wrist. A free shot at styling a certified hottie. I don't think it can get any better than that. Style your date by choosing an interesting outfit and a cool hairstyle. That's so cool. Oh my god, we get to style Marissa. Oh my goodness. Okay, so do you know what? I am actually digging that bun. I think that bun is so nice. And that that's the long hairstyle. But Marissa always has her hair down. So maybe that green dress is really nice. I feel like the green dress is actually the way to go because that makes us look a bit too matchy-matchy. And and, oh, but she does look absolutely stunning in that. This is where I wish that I was doing this live on Twitch because then I could ask you to vote for me uh, for an outfit for Marissa. I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for this one. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of complimentary to us. And that's it. We don't get to pick jewellery for Marissa, so this is the outfit that we're gonna go for. Oh, we can change your love interest and look one time and we unlock some stars. Half an hour later, you stare out at the water, still unable to believe that you're on such a beautiful, classy boat. It's gorgeous out here. Nothing makes me feel more connected to the earth than the ocean. You stare at Marissa, loving the way the sea breeze is blowing her hair. That little heart in the corner can hold a lot of love. To have a successful date, fill up the heart by choosing carefully. You never know, you might just win your date's heart in return. The points you collect in the heart will be added to your date's love meter. I'm going to agree with her. I don't want to go on too strong, you know. It is gorgeous. I know we've been enjoying the beach the past couple of days, but there's something different about being out here on the water. I know what you mean. She suddenly gasps and points out to the sea. Look, dolphins! You look just in time to see three dolphins jumping in and out of the water. Wow, look at them go! The two of you watch for a while in awed silence. You know, if I were an animal, I'd totally be a dolphin. They represent harmony and balance. She turns to you with a smile. What would you be? If I were an animal, I would be... I feel like we'd be a lion. Amber gives me lion energy. I'd say a lion. Sometimes I'm quiet, but I'm fierce when I need to be. Marissa laughs. I like it. You know, no one's ever asked me this before. Is that a good thing? Is it a good thing? It definitely is. It is. I like talking to you. You're unique. Different. Marissa smiles. Amber, I know I have a lot of competition here, but I officially want to put my hat in the race. I like talking to you. And I like you. <laughs> the sweetness of her words pulls on your heartstrings. This might be a perfect time for a kiss. I'm gonna back away. I would super love to go for a kiss with Marissa. But firstly, I only put her name in the ring because we hadn't spoken to her very much. But I feel like if we kiss her, then we're just as bad as Justin and I refuse to be as bad as Justin. So in that 
case and for that reason we're gonna back away i know marissa really cares about the money i don't want to put her in that position smart amber smart you settle for reaching out and holding her hand let's see if we can spot any other animals besides more seagulls that is marissa laughs and lays her head on your shoulder sounds like a plan oh we only plus 10 for the date but do you know what plus 10's fine plus 10 is okay you spent some time alone with your crush on a romantic yacht date your fingers interlock together and you enjoy the rest of your date when the incredible experience comes to an end your emotions are all over the place the one-on-one -on -one time was special but now you're back on land with the group there's so much else and so many other people to think about. Not everyone got a chance to go on a date on a boat, after all. I won't forget today anytime soon. Still, you are grateful for the fact that there is nobody else here right now, allowing you time to process your emotions. Well, almost nobody else. You spot Lana and walk over. Hey, Lana, I'm back from my date. But I guess you already knew that, huh? No response. So, um, I'm sure you're curious about how it went. Then again, you probably watched the whole thing. Did I have a good time? I had a great time. I had so much fun. The boat was incredible. Thanks for choosing such a fun date for me. You wait a few moments, but Lana doesn't respond. Okay, tough crowd. Amber, you startle. Yeah, you almost expect her to reply to all your ramblings. But instead, Lana says something else. Please gather everyone to the living room. I have an announcement to make. 20 minutes later, everyone is gathered in the living room. The air is thick with tension and nobody is speaking. It's almost like you're all waiting for the shoe to drop. I have nothing to worry about. I didn't do anything wrong. You eye others suspiciously. Then again, who knows what they got up to when Marissa and I were gone. Finally, Lana decides to break the tension. Good evening, everyone. I have an announcement to make. Although you have a feeling what she'll say, your heart sinks once it finally happens. There has been a rule break, several of them in fact, and a significant amount of money has been lost from the prize fund. What? Who got up to bits while we were gone? I'm angry, I'm very angry because I'm here, I'm here, minding my own business, doing my own thing, making sure nobody loses money, and what happens? We lose some money. I'm very mad. Let's have a look and see what the options were. So, I felt sorry for Jada, but 60% of people said that Justin was a jerk, which he was. Uh, you slept next to Alex. Only 10% of people chose that. We got the middle option, which was talking with Alex. 28% of people chose that. But 62% of you broke a rule with Alex. You're all just as bad as Justin. Thank you so much for watching this, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. The confessionals will be coming out very soon. I love doing them. They're so much fun. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to see more, turn on your notifications so you can be notified every single time I upload a video. And don't forget, you can also find me on different platforms. I'm at Ashley Amelia on Twitch. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, practically most social medias. We also have a subreddit where we can discuss Too Hot to Handle, Love Island the Game, all sorts of different things. So if you wanted to join the subreddit, it will be linked in the description. Thank you so much for all of your help and support, everyone. I am so grateful to have all of you in our little family, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.